So let me show you right now the trifecta of income and how you approach selling income to get different sources and different sources of income by getting the asset and the stocks, okay? On stocks that you like anyway. It is one of the most study consistent strategies that you can find in the stock market guys to make five, 10, 20% every year by taking less risk than day trading, less risk than swing trading. It is a consistent strategies that people use, you know, in their retirement account to increase steadily in a consistent way their net liquidation value. So let's go and let's go deep right now in the presentation that I wanted to show you. So if you look at the trifecta of income, everybody, it starts like this, okay? So first you sell income, right? On the stocks that you like. So you wait for your stocks to go down, 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 and you look for support in your stocks, and then you sell income. Those will be stocks or zones, you know, of support in which you would buy the stock anyway. If you had cash, you would say to yourself, wow, I like uh, Apple, let's say at $75, $95, so I want to buy the stock there. But in addition to that, you are getting paid to get your stock at a certain price called the stock, the strike price at a cost reduction. And by doing that, you're selling puts and you are receiving premiums. The market is paying you a put premium at a strike, which ideally is your support zone. I'll show you later on. And you get your first source of income. So in our traffic time machine, people always ask me, where do you plug and replug your day trading profits? You know, and I will show you when I took a $28,000 account trading SPY SPX to $121,000 account last year, I take that money, put that in retire my account where the money compound tax-free or tax defer, and I do the traffic of income strategy by starting by strategy number one, which is selling put options for consistent profit, everybody. So let me show you. The second step of the trifecta is worst case scenario, you get assigned the shares, everybody, right? And guess what? This is absolutely fine because I like the company anyway. So those, if the stock goes down, goes down and goes below my strike price, the worst that can happen with a put selling strategy with cash secure. So you have the cash to buy the Apple shares at 75, 90, whatever price you feel is the support. Then it's not a problem. You buy the stock, you receive the assets, and then let's say the stock continue going down. You can sell cover calls, which means you make a third, second source of income, and you make a third source of income because if you pick a stock that has a dividend, you collect the dividend. So I repeat, traffic of income, machine, you sell the puts on stock that you like to own anyway, you get paid to do so, right, at the strike price, you do it at a support level, it goes down, it goes down, you get a sign. If you get a sign, it's a beautiful thing. You have the asset. Now you have the asset, you can create other sources of income. So when you have the stocks, it's an asset like owning a house, right? And now if the stock continues going down, you can continue selling cover calls or even better, it goes back up, it goes back up to resistance. Now you look for a day trading zones. We use our tool, day trading zones, pool pro tool or retail tool resistance. And now we sell at the resistance level, whatever resistance you use, the cover calls and you sell calls. Now you are getting a second source of stream of income. And then the third stream of income is every quarter you are getting the dividend. Okay, 